Hello and welcome to our Liquid Lead series of tutorial videos. These videos are about going deeper into the ideas we raised in our TED Talk proposing a general neutral system of ballroom dancing we released a few years ago. The idea is a partner dance system in which the lead and the follow have the option of switching during the course of the dance. So the idea is there, but how to do it? Well, keep watching. But we know that there are multiple other dance styles, techniques, and cultural perspectives that we don't have or that we just haven't thought of yet. So we're inviting you to also create your own video and send us the link at the email here and in the description below. Enjoy! So, switching lead and follow during the traveling, ballroom, or standard and smooth dances brings with it a bit of an extra challenge because the vehicle is in motion while we are dancing. In the Latin dances, they're considered spot dances, which means they're going to stay in relatively one place throughout the dance, but in tangos and waltzes and foxtrots and quick steps and all of the ballroom dances, we're covering the entire room. We're in motion while we're dancing. And to suddenly swap lead and follow while we're in flight can be a little bit like yanking the wheel while the car is driving down the road. So we want to find the right moments to make the switch and use the right techniques and take advantage of moments that occur within the dance to make those switches and those rearrangings of the lead. So one of the first ones, which we do have access to in the American style of smooth, is the underarm turn, which we use in the Latin and rhythm dances as well. When turning and doing an underarm turn with a partner, we typically, as a lead, will switch our fingers back into the leading position when the turn is finished and welcome the partner back into our frame. That is an, an opening and a window where we can switch that around, where an alteration can be made. So during the underarm turn, instead of fixing the fingers back into the proper lead grip, we can leave them where they are, which leaves the leader's hand now on top, switching it to more of a follow scenario. And on the way back in, because of the frame in, in those traveling and ballroom dances, instead of scooping up the partner as they return, we offer an, an upraised hand, which switches the size of the frame. Which which brings us to the other important part of the technique is we are not only just switching hand positions in the ballroom dances, we have to rearrange the entire frame. There's an entire closed grip that we use in traveling dances that takes a little more doing to switch from one side to the other. Now in an underarm turn, we've broken away from that frame, so we have the freedom to make some hand switches which are a little more obvious and a little more visually clear and apparent, but we can also make shifts while in closed hold. But as I said, while the vehicle is in motion, that can be a little bit dangerous. So the best place to look for making a switch is during the punctuation marks that reoccur in all of the traveling dances, primarily when the feet come together. So this is sometimes at the end of a pattern, could be in the middle of a pattern, or at the end of a phrase, but at any point when the feet actually come together, that means for a brief period of time, usually about one beat or so, the dance is going to come to a brief stop, which allows us to make some alterations before we take movement again. Uh, so an easy way to bring this in, if you don't have a lot of those movements, is to bring in a lot of progressives for the American style, or closed changes in international, or to bring in closed footwork box patterns into waltz or foxtrot, you can even bring it into tango with a little bit of arranging, and finding those spots in quick step or Viennese waltz when the feet are closed together. Seeing that coming, as the feet come together, we can then make a switch. Now as a lead switching to a follow, one of the important things is as we've arrived there, we're in our lead position, we're actually going to take our right hand off of the frame and offer it as a hand grip. That's the, our right arm as a lead is our main attachment to the follower's body, so we remove that and open the, open the door on the other side to take that main attachment away, which is the signal that we're offering to switch. Conversely, as a follow, if we're wanting to take over as a lead, rather than resting on top, we're going to take our hand, right hand away and scoop underneath to create that connection to the partner's spine. This can happen while our feet are together in that brief moment of stillness to take advantage of a punctuation mark to make that one arm switch that signals in advance. Now you can certainly create little moments and exchanges in the dance if you have a partner that you dance with on a regular basis and create it into little routines. Uh, any rotating figure offers some very nice momentum that we can take advantage of to make switches like that. But in the general give and take of social dancing, if it's not with a regular partner, we want to find those safe spots, those little landings in the stairwell as it were in the dances. So looking for any of those spots in the dances where the feet come together, uh, whether it's a reverse rotating box, a natural rotating box. You could even use hovers and hesitations in the different dances, but you want to find a spot where the dance has come to a standstill for a brief second to allow switch in the architecture of the dance frame before we continue on. 
there's lots of options and lots of different styles of dance. You can use natural turning figures, as I said, and boxes, but I'm sure there are lots of other tricks out there as well. So experiment with them, have some fun, be patient with your partner as you're figuring these things out. Uh, and if you come up with any new ideas, we would love to hear about them. So send any suggestions or videos to the email that we have down in the, in the description box, because we're always looking to expand the conversation and have a lot more fun. So enjoy your dancing, trade it up, mix it around, have fun, and we'll see you next time.